We're very happy to be introducing to you now version 3.1 in partnership with the World Bank. We need the Global Wind Atlas because over the coming decades, we need to install thousands upon thousands of turbines all over the world. And the Global Wind Atlas will help us find out where are the best locations for all of these wind turbines and wind farms. The new Global Wind Atlas 3.1 includes several new features and improvements. For example, if I'm interested in uh, looking at Denmark, I'm now looking at the mean wind speed map of Denmark. Uh, it's not very clear where the highest wind resources are, but uh, if I now rescale the map, it becomes really clear that the high wind resources are offshore in the North Sea and on the west coast of Jutland. The high resolution part is important in the Global Wind Atlas because it actually allows the best sites to emerge. If you don't do the high resolution part, then you won't get the hills, you won't get the complex coastlines properly resolved, and therefore you will likely underestimate the wind resource. Another important new feature is uh, the new bathymetry map. If I rescale the map to, for example, 50 meters minimum, the map will now show me all the areas that are feasible for fixed foundation offshore wind turbines. My hope is that the Global Wind Atlas becomes a tool to help us move into the green transition and accelerate wind energy as a really important part of, of our renewable energy system in the future.